If you're truly serious about hiking and trekking, you're eventually going to want to get yourself a pair of rain pants. Stay tuned for my review of the Arcteryx Beta SL Pants. Arcteryx products have a reputation for being hard wearing and long lasting. The Beta SL Pants, and the SL stands for Super Light, have been conceived to be essentially a pair of emergency pull on rain pants. As such, they don't have a ton of different features on them, but they're designed to be lightweight, pack down small, and be able to take with you basically on every adventure you can imagine. In the time since I've had them, I've taken them on a three day backpacking trip in Quebec, as well as three weeks of expedition in Patagonia. So as you can imagine, they've now seen pretty much all the conditions you can imagine. Now to give you an idea, here's how they come on once you have that leg zipper all the way up on the leg. So when I'm on the trail side, you just have to basically work it over the boot. So I've got one out, one here. Put the other one on as well. Pull them up and you're ready to face the rain. Let's have a look at the features from the top to the bottom. Starting at the top, you'll see there's an elastic waistband, no belt, but there is a tightening toggle here so you can snug them up around your waist. Next, there is a fly on them, but the zipper pull is extremely tiny. So if you're wearing gloves or you have cold fingers, there's no way you're gonna get that open. So I suggest adding a zip tie or a piece of string or something to it. Working your way down, you'll see this is like a, a durable water repellent finish on the outside covering the Gore-Tex layer. They're quite breathable and I found them to work well. Working my way to the bottom is where the real interesting features kick in. You'll see there's this zipper that comes all the way up to my knee which helps to get them over a pair of boots. There's also uh, reinforcing on the instep to keep them dry when you're hiking. You'll see that they've been well worn in Patagonia. And you'll notice the shape of the pants is actually quite articulated, so it's, it's kind of a curved shape. And there's also a bit of extra room in the butt to make sure that you can step high over obstacles as you're going. Finally, at the very bottom, you'll see there's actually a hook to hook onto your laces, as well as some uh, zip bungee on the bottom to tighten up around your boot. Another feature that really makes these stand out for hiking and trekking, as opposed to just general rain pants, they have extra high wear areas. And you'll see that carries on to the inside where you have this extra durable Gore-Tex material at the instep. And focusing on the inside again, you'll notice how all the seams are beautifully seam taped and have no edges or anything like that. So I suspect this will last a very long time. The pair I have is a men's small. The waist is about 31 inches. I'm generally a 30 inch, but with my extra clothing on, they fit quite nicely over top of anything I put them over. This is called their Nocturne or blue color and it's also available in a black color. For the gram counters out there, the total weight is about 260 grams. Throughout my Patagonia trip, I basically had these folded flat and stuck on an outside pouch the entire time on my backpack. That way, when the, when the crazy weather kicked up, it was easy to pull out, pull on, and keep on going. And I found in Patagonia with its really high winds, these were really comfortable on days like where I had a high mountain pass where we'd be crossing over and there'd be raging winds blowing at us. I find this to be just about the perfect all around pant because it still features full Gore-Tex, is hard wearing, fits down small, and is easy to take with you. With a pant like this, there's no excuse not to have decent rain gear on a trip with you. Well that does it for my review of the Arcteryx Beta SL Pants. For more information on these and all the products, head to arcteryx.com.